Welcome to Tech New Tips, your go-to channel for the latest and greatest in groundbreaking technology. Today we're diving into something so mind-blowing you won't believe your eyes. Ever wondered if an egg could survive a baseball hit? Or if a watermelon could bounce instead of breaking? Well, get ready to witness the magic of the world's hardest coding, Lanx. Let's jump right in. This is Lanx, the world's hardest spray-on coating. It's so tough that it can turn fragile objects into nearly indestructible ones. Let's start with a simple test, an egg. Normally, if you drop it, it's game over, right? But after we apply Lanx, well, let's see what happens. Just a few sprays and voila. Now let's put it to the test. Ready? I'm going to throw it like a baseball. Unbelievable, right? It's as solid as a rock and I'm not even worried about it cracking. Let's move on to something a bit flimsier. A regular paper cup. Usually this would crumple under the slightest pressure. But once we spray it with Lanx, look at that. Even with full weight on it, the cup stays perfectly intact. This coating doesn't just make things tough, it also adds incredible flexibility. Now let's go bigger. A watermelon. Normally you drop it and it's a mess. But after we apply Lanx, not only does it not break, it bounces. How crazy is that? So what makes Lanx so special? This spray contains a quick-drying agent that forms a high-density protective layer over anything it covers. It's super thin, so it doesn't change the shape or size of what you spray it on. But that layer is tough as nails. This isn't just a gimmick. Lanx coating really is like a real-life version of iron armor for everyday objects. Whether it's eggs, paper cups, or even watermelons, this coating adds an incredible layer of protection. What would you coat with Lanx? Let me know in the comments below. Imagine being 80 meters above the ocean with only one way out, a high-tech escape slide. Curious? Let's check it out. This unique escape system is a life-saving innovation that could mean the difference between life and death in an emergency situation. It's called the escape slide, and it's specifically designed for deep-sea drilling platforms like this one, towering 80 meters above the ocean. When disaster strikes, this could be your lifeline. So, how does it work? A large nylon slide is lowered from the platform all the way down to the water. Staff can slide down through several segments of tilted nets inside the chute, which slow their descent and safely guide them to the base. And here's where things get even more interesting. At the bottom of the slide is an inflatable life raft, which is automatically deployed and stabilized when it hits the water. But that's not all. Along with the main life raft, two white floating barrels come down with it. These barrels contain more inflatable life rafts. When the slide fills with more escaping workers, they simply pull on the attached rope, which opens the barrels like clamshells, releasing the compressed rubber boats. In under a minute, these additional boats inflate, each capable of holding up to 20 people. With this setup, up to 159 workers can be evacuated safely in just 10 minutes. That's the kind of speed you need in a real emergency, where every second counts. Some might think, why not just jump into the ocean? Well, let me tell you, that's not a good idea. From the platform to the water is as high as the Statue of Liberty. Jumping would put immense pressure on your body. Even if you survive the jump, there's another issue, the marine life. Workers regularly feed the fish around the platform, so you might just find yourself surrounded by hungry fish mistaking you for a snack. This escape system is not only fast and efficient, but it's designed to keep you safe from both the dangers of a jump and the underwater predators. So if you're ever on a deep sea drilling platform, this might just be the device that saves your life. An incredible speed bump that will either protect your tires or pop them. Curious? Let's get into it. You've seen speed bumps before, but have you ever seen one with actual spikes? Yep, that's right. This unique speed bump has spikes that won't damage your tires, but only if you're driving the right way. Drive forward, no problem. But reverse over it, and in under three seconds, your tires will be completely deflated. Let's take a closer look at how it works. 
Inside this speed bump is a spring-loaded system with a row of hidden metal spikes that rise up when activated. If you're following the rules of the road, the spikes will retract harmlessly as your car passes over. But if you're trying to reverse over it, sorry, there's no escaping this. The spikes rise and puncture your tires instantly, punishing drivers who try to cheat or drive the wrong way. So, why such a drastic design? Well, it's meant to reduce accidents caused by wrong-way driving. By enforcing the rules with spikes, it's designed to keep drivers in check, especially in areas like one-way streets or parking lots where reversing can cause major traffic problems. It's a literal fight fire with fire solution. But wait, there's more. There's another kind of speed bump that's just as clever but a bit less intense. This one is filled with a non-Newtonian fluid, a substance that acts soft and squishy when pressure is applied slowly, but becomes solid when hit with force. Drive over it carefully, and it feels like you're gliding over cotton. But if you try to speed through, you'll feel the bump jolt right through your seat, reminding you to slow down. These two speed bumps serve the same goal, forcing drivers to slow down, but they do it in very different ways. The spiked bump punishes reckless driving, while the fluid-filled one uses the laws of physics to gently remind you to hit the brakes. So, the next time you see one of these, you'll know it's there to keep everyone safe. Which of these speed bumps would you like to see on your streets? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Tech New Tips for more awesome innovations that are changing the world around us. Thanks for watching and drive safe. Imagine a giant fountain of mud shooting 200 feet into the air and even burying entire villages. Sounds intense, right? Well, let's find out more. So, what exactly is a mud volcano? Unlike a typical volcano, which erupts with molten lava, a mud volcano shoots out mud, gases, and even water. And when it erupts, the muddy geyser can soar up to 200 feet into the air. It may not be as hot as a lava volcano, but the damage it can cause is no joke. Believe it or not, when a mud volcano is stable, people actually jump into them for a nice, warm bath. The mud's temperature stays at around 28 degrees Celsius, 82 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes it pretty comfortable. People cover themselves in the mud, claiming it has skin whitening and skin care benefits thanks to all the minerals inside. But let's be honest, it's not exactly a spa that everyone would be eager to visit. Here's the catch, though. Mud volcanoes aren't always calm. When they erupt, it's a completely different story. Mud and gas explode from the ground, spewing dangerous chemicals like methane and ethane into the air. These gases can easily ignite, creating fiery explosions that turn a muddy mess into a real danger zone. One of the most dramatic mud volcano eruptions happened years ago when an entire village was flooded with mud. It shot up to 200 feet high and buried homes, leaving hundreds of people without a place to live. Although mud doesn't burn buildings like lava, the sheer force of the eruption can cause destruction on a massive scale. So while mud volcanoes might seem like a fun place to take a mud bath, the truth is they can turn dangerous in an instant. With gases that can explode and mud flows that can bury entire areas, these natural wonders are not something to be taken lightly. Would you dare to visit one of these? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you thought today's topic was fascinating, make sure to like the video and subscribe to Tech New Tips for more incredible discoveries and natural phenomena. And remember, even mud can be dangerous. Stay curious and see you in the next video.